Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth. My pronouns are she, her, and welcome to my floss tube channel. This is Savory Sewing, a channel where we talk mainly about cross stitch, occasionally other sewing, and pretty much anything I like. And if you couldn't guess, something that I really like is Halloween. So this is a special edition floss tube video uh, that will just be my Halloween finishes to date. So. I'm pretty excited. I have way more than I expected. I have about 40 things, which I feel like is a ridiculous number given that I've been stitching since about March of 2023. Um, but that's where we are. So we're just going to lean into it and go with it. Um, so what I'm going to show you all today is everything that I've finished or fully finished that's Halloween or spooky or I think it's Halloween. Some of it's a little bit more fall than Halloween, but it comes out at this time of year. Um, some of it's a little bit more like witchy than, than maybe Halloween, but it all fits into that sort of genre of, of cross-stitch finish in my brain, um, and they all live together in my house. So uh, I'm going to go through all of that for you folks here today. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. You can see I've got, I've got my witch hat on, I've got my witch earrings. My, I put a spell on you t-shirt. I even have my po poison cauldron mug. So we are just doing all things Halloween here. So um, we, so I have fully finishes. I have some finishes that I've just been languishing in the bin. Um, I have most stuff here in front of me on my table. Uh, however, there are some things that I don't have because they've been gifted, but if I can get folks. I have photos of most of them. Um, and if not, I will um, talk about them and maybe show you the pattern or something if, if it turns out I can't find a photo later on. But I have photos coming. Um, the other thing is, as you can probably tell, we are not in my usual filming spot. Usually I film in my craft room. Uh, today we are in the dining area of my house where um, this is where all of the cross stitch will live. Um, somewhere in here once once I'm done filming. Um, so hopefully I've either put photos of that, um, the fully decorated stuff at the beginning of this, or I will put them at the end. I haven't, I haven't decided yet how that's gonna work. So maybe you've already seen them. Uh, maybe you haven't. It'll be a surprise. It's a surprise to me right now because I haven't decided. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, I'm very excited if you, if you couldn't tell. Um, so the very first thing that I stitched, that was Halloween. Uh, this is from uh, June of 2020. Um, and it is a pattern by Scissor Tail Designs called Halloween Whimsies. And it's these three little um, pieces. And I, I almost remember that the pattern itself, these are stitched as maybe individual pillows or something. I stitched them all together. Um, this is one of the very first things I ever fully finished. And you can see I did not. It appears that I did not iron, so I may um, take this apart and put it back together, but just a real simple little finish. This is stitched on, I think, 14 count white Ada, stitched all the called for DMC. It's pretty cute. Um, it's the very, I finished this in June of 2020, so very first Halloween finish. Um, I feel like they only went up from here. Not that this isn't cute, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna try to pop them back up behind me as I, as I'm done showing them to you. Um, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is gonna, there's gonna be a picture here. Uh, this is a, um, a little zip bag that I made for my niece. Uh, it is a pattern from Just Cross Stitch 2020 Halloween issue called A Candy A Day. It's a frosted pumpkin stitchery pattern. Um, and I believe I stitched this with all the called for DMC. And um, I think it's also on white Ada or is it on blue? It might be on blue. I'm trying to remember what the photo looks like. Um, yeah, I think it's on aqua dyed effect, uh, one of those printed fabrics. You know, if I was, if I have the photo in front of me, I should just pull it up. Yeah, this is on aqua dyed effect. Um, and I just turned it into this little bag and hopefully my niece still has it and likes it, who knows. Um, but very cute little monster uh, piece. Um, the next thing I do have here, and I actually, this is one of my favorite Halloween finishes uh, that I've ever done. Uh, this is actually a free pattern. This is called Halloween Quaker. It's by Susan Aki, who's also known as 
I think it's Yard Girl 66 or something like that. And Yard doesn't have an, an A in it on Instagram. She is a uh, quilt designer fabric and fabric designer, I think, for, I think, Moda. Um, and she also has uh, designs a few cross-stitch patterns for Aurifil. Aurifil has an embroidery floss called Aura Floss. I, I don't think it's super popular, um, but uh, you can get it. And so this is, um, I believe it's charged in Aura Floss. I converted it to DMC. And this is stitched on um, another one of those dyed effects, 14 count Ada. Uh, I think it's called Provence. And I know you can get these on Fat Quarter Shop because I'm pretty sure that's where I got this. And I, I really love this pattern, actually, and it's a really cute Quaker, um, and it's free. So you can get it on Susan Aki's website, uh, and you can, I believe, also used to be able to get it on the Fat Quarter Shop website as a free PDF. Um, yeah, super cute. And this is also the very first flat fold I ever made. I, I'm sure I used Vonna Pfeiffer's tutorial, and yeah, it's got a command strip on it because it hangs on the wall in the off-season, but... It's going to come out it's just got a piece of piece of ribbon and um, some little flat palm rack trim thing. I don't know what that's called, but yeah, this is one of my favorites. Pop it up here so y'all can enjoy it while we film. All right, so next on the list um, is also from the Just Cross Stitch 2022 magazine. A lot of my, a lot of things I've stitched that are Halloween are from just Cross Stitch Magazine. I started stitching in 2020. You know, at that time, remember pandemic, you know, it was relatively easy to get those magazines and I was a new stitcher. So those are, um, you know, they're small and I stitched a lot of them and there were some really cute patterns, I think, in those magazines. So uh, this is one, this is called Time to Fly. This is by Stitchy Fish Designs. This is from the 2022, or excuse me, the 2020 Halloween issue. Um, and just this really cute little witch. Uh, this is stitched on uh, Please Scream Inside Your Heart by Mystic Fabrics. I believe it's all the called for DMC. I think I did change the purples to look better with this fabric, but it was just like a dark and a light. So um, just framed in a five by seven. I, I This might be from Joann's or Michael's or maybe even Goodwill, I don't know. Uh, next is also from the same 2020 issue of Just Cross Stitch Magazine. Actually, the next two are going to be. This is something I haven't fully finished yet. Um, it's this little witch uh, flying across the sky. This is by Panochka. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if it's not. Um, and this is the 32 count Zweigart um, sparkle gray linen. It's got the little sparkles on it. I believe this is stitched with all the called for and um, I did make a change in the original pattern there's like a little there's like some little houses and some skeletons down here I didn't stitch them um, I just need to decide how I want to fully finish her I'm thinking she might make a cute ornament where she kind of like looks like she's flying I just haven't haven't gotten to it yet but really cute um, the next uh, pattern is also by Pinochka from the October 2020 issue of Just Cross Stitch I really like her Halloween patterns I've stitched I think there's there'll be one more after this um, this is called owls and bats and I I think this is stitched with the called for um, I don't recall what the fabric is it's a it's a linen a tannish linen um, and I just this is a little flat fold ornament again with the command strips because sometimes it hangs on the wall um, and yeah I know there's some etoile the but I know I did the spider webs and in a twall but I'm sure you can't tell but cute little cute little owl ornament I'm gonna hang him back here on my tree um, as I go uh, the next one is from a Etsy designer Vlada X stitch uh, and it is hocus pocus themed um, this one I really like this piece this is one of the one of my favorite Halloween pieces. Um, you can see it's the Hocus Pocus witches in in uh, in shadow, and then this is like a cauldron, night sky see, scene. Excuse me, um, and then just finished in a brown black frame. This is just the called for DMC. This is black Ada. I believe in the chart it's on white. 
and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it on black and not stitch the black. And then I stitched the black anyway because I, I just like thought it looked better. So, but it's charted on, on white. But I really like this. I think this frame is from Amazon. It's just like a 10 inch round circle frame. And yeah, so this is, I think, and I believe this is available. So they had an Etsy shop. I did not check to see if they still have an Etsy shop. Uh, and it was just called Hocus Pocus. You can get a PDF. Very cute. Next, I have, where am I on my list? Sorry, I got my list in front of me as well. Uh, make sure I don't forget anything. Okay, so now, all right, we've got two little pillows coming up next. So I finished these both in 2021. Um, this is a cute little freebie from Pantini Pantini. I, you can still get this. I I feel like it was on on, our, on their Instagram. I'm not sure if they have a website. I'm, I don't remember where I got it from. Um, and this was a freebie in 2021. And I know this is this is Vintage Country Mocha. And I think it's roughly the called for DMC. Um, but at the very least, you know, it's just a bunch of little pumpkins and it says boo. And then I um, did this little pillow finish and I stitched this little, this is one of the pumpkins from the front in the year and used it to cover the hole where I did the stuffing. And then you can, you've seen this, you've seen this trim on a number of things so far um, because I, I actually, I really like it. It's like a flat sort of, not quite a pom-pom, but so I feel like pom-poms are very cute. Um, and this is like, you know, somewhere in the middle between being, you know, uh, just a plain trim and then a cute pom-pom. So, yeah, very cute. Uh, I also did this. This is one of the hands-on design block parties. This is block party 31st. Um, this is my first so far and so far only one of these. It was really actually really fun to put this together. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. I thought um, she has a, I think she has a video tutorial and a a paper tutorial that you can get you can get I'm not sure if there's a video I don't remember now um, but if you are going to the um, the jingle ball one of the classes has a new block party um, pattern and she's doing finishing class on it so um, and yeah we got some specialty stitches the purple felt came with the pattern and super cute I'm I think this is all the called for, which was fancy floss of some sort, and then um, I stitched mine on. I stitched mine on Ada. I think the called for is linen, but this is and maybe black. This is chalkboard black Ada, and I think it's 16 count. So really cute. These are really really nice, cute stitches, and and her instructions are of course impeccable. So block party 31st, hands on design. Next on my list is a something I don't have. Um, so photo here, hopefully. Um, I stitched this in fall of 2021. This is from um, Pine Needles, Pine Needles Utah, or Pine Needles Store, or something. Um, I'll find the link and I'll put it in the description box below, um, or across the screen, whichever I remember to do. Um, in Fall, Christmas, like, or excuse me, months. December of 2020, they did a Christmas one where they released like a, a little countdown to Christmas and a little Christmas motif every day or a winter motif. And then they did the same thing in um, um, October of 2021 with Halloween. And I stitched them because I thought they were cute. And they were free at the time. And then I think now it's a paid pattern. Um, and if I if my mom doesn't send me a photo, I will put a picture in from if I can find one on the website or find someone else who stitched it. Um, the only change I made is that I did not stitch all. I'm pretty sure there were 31. I didn't stitch all 31. I had stitched the Christmas one, which had 25, so it was a nice five by five square. And then I decided um, I wanted to do the Halloween one the same way. Um, so I at some point I stopped stitching all of them, waited till they all came out, and then picked the ones I liked best. So I had 25, and so that's what we've got here. So. Um, and this has been gifted to my mom. And so it's out with her Halloween decor. Um, next thing that I stitched, oh, excuse me, reach. I've got, now I've got to like reach because things are getting further away. So this is, uh, this is called Witching Halloween. Uh, this is by Needle Bling Designs, also Halloween 
just cross stitch 2020. Um, and then just as we wish you a happy Halloween, it's pretty cute. This is stitched on the same Provence dyed effect um, as this one. So these are both on the same fabrics. And I stitched this in, in uh, DMC 8th wall. And so I'm pretty sure it might be all in black in the pattern and then I used the gray and the black, or it might be gray and black and I just used these. I can't recall, but really cute, really simple pattern. I like this little witch. Um, and it's just a nice little thing. And I think this this is just a little square, oh, I don't know, probably five by five inch square frame from Joann's. Um, uh, next, all right, oh, wait, where are we? Which, okay, witchy dreams. Okay, so the next thing I stitched, I believe I showed this a couple of floss tubes ago because I just got this frame and got this sorted, um, but I'll show it again because she's lovely. Um, and she's coming out of her modern hoopla frame because I don't really like being touched a lot. But this is a Barbara Anna Designs Witchy Dream Cell. Uh, this was a cell in 2021 uh, mystery. Um, I can't remember how many parts there were, and I know you can buy the whole thing now. It's on, I know it's on Creative Poppy. I think it's on 123 Stitch. Um, and I really like her. She stitched with all the called for DMC, and I did make one change in that I, I changed her top. I think it's like half half colors on the original, and I changed it to just being this red because I liked. I don't remember what the other half was. Maybe it had snakes on it. I don't like snake. <laughs> I don't like snakes. And then I this is this is a snake. This is okay, but I, I'm not a big snake fan. So if there's a snake on something, I'm probably taking it off. Um, I am. It's one of those phobias that I just can't get over. I hate snakes. Um, but this is, I really love her. And I know she's stitched on um, a 32 count Lugana by Fiberlicious. I can't remember which one. I think it was a fabric of the month. Um, but I really like her. I'm gonna smile because I'm trying to decide <laughs> what's gonna be my thumbnail. So apologies in advance for the awkward smiles with every piece that I like. Next is, oh, so this I just did. Um, so this is a piece that I stitched in 2022. So now we're into 2022 finishes. Um, this was a kit from Forbidden Fiber Co. It's Discovery of Witches themed. And they had a kit, excuse me, with um, the pattern, the floss, the fabric, a bag, and then a little Ashmole 782 um, needle minder. And I, I can't remember if there's anything else in it. That's what I remember. Um, and then I'm sure I'm going to show you, and you'll know you'll, if you've watched a lot of Floss Tube, you'll know where the inspiration for this came from. Um, uh, Bridgen and Museum Stitcher stitched this also last year and finished it as a drum. And I've been hemming and hawing over what to do with this. I didn't want to make a pillow, I didn't really want to frame it. And then I decided, you know what? The drum looked great. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can make a drum. So this is my very first cross stitch drum. Um, I think it turned out nice. Conveniently, Helen D, the East Coast stitcher, just dropped a drum tutorial not to maybe last week. And it was like perfect timing because I was just getting ready to start this. So yeah, this is actually pretty also straightforward to do. Um, I would say the hardest part was the ladder stitching to make sure that this was invisible. Um, across the top and it's it's mostly 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 smooth it's good enough for me um, but I really I really loved this I really love this pattern I love the discovery which is books the TV show it was okay uh, but I really love this pattern I thought this fabric was this fabric is dovetail uh, which is in their regular line and it's really beautiful and um, I think this is the this buying this kit is why I joined their fabric of the month club is because I love this fabric so much and this is I believe this is 36 count and this is what I usually what is it I get from the fabric of the month so uh, thank you Forbidden Fiber Co and thank you Museum Stitcher for the inspiration for this um, also this is a hefty drum like solid I didn't have any fiber fill so I stuffed it with fabric scraps and I think you could you could do some damage with this all right, what's next? All right, so next is my very first Mill Hill ornament. And I love owls. Uh, and so, of course, the first one I stitched was this little guy. This is Moonlit Owl. This is stitched with the kit, all the kit stuff, beads, 
and what have you. It's just a little felt on the back and this little little hanging thing. And I stitched this in um, in summer of 2022. Just think we'll hang him, hang him on my tree. Mm. Excuse me. Next on the list, you've seen this if you've been watching my floss tube for any any time. Um, this is this has made an appearance in more than one video, and I know you're probably all tired of seeing it, but it is one of my favorite things. So humor me, please. Thank you. Um, this is Coven Sweet Coven from the Witchy Stitcher, and um, this is on the from her Patreon. If you join her Patreon, this is the free Coven. This is the freebie that every every member gets. It's still available, and uh, I stitched mine uh, with a twelve floss so two purples a gray and a white I added some beads and it's on chalkboard black Ada and this is a frame from the antique store and I just love this so much so thank you again for humoring me to see that for the 18th millionth time <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to do let me do a little stacking here so I can drag the next drag the next pile forward um, so that I've got room for all of the things Excuse me for one minute. All right, so the next pile. All right, so this is also from a Just Cross Stitch magazine, but I didn't I didn't write which one, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this is October 31st. This is by Rona Nori, and so I stitched it in 2022. I started it in April of 2022, so I'm pretty sure it's in the 2021 issue, possibly the 2020 issue. Um, I Mystery Linen. I don't know. That's a variegated something. Um, I think in hindsight, I would not have chosen the swaths or at least have stitched it differently because I feel like this reads a little bit Tony the Tiger um, more than it reads um, October Halloween, but... It is what it is. It's done. Look at those. Look at those little eyes on that little spider. Um, and then this is just a little, this has got some cheesy staying on it. And it's just uh, double-sided taped to this little thing that I got at Goodwill for like three dollars. It's really, it's actually really nice. It's got a little thing on it. It's got a little, uh, one of these hangy things on it. And this fit perfectly. And it's even got like a little bit of a decorative design on it that I think just, it was just you know, meant to be. So next I've got a couple of things that actually I left them back here. I have a finish back here that I did not bring back to the pile. Uh, this is a Lizzie Kate design. Um, I think it's called, I can drive a stick and it says, why well, yes, I can drive a stick on it. And, um, it's DMC 310. And this is an under the sea fabric of some sort. I it's from an ornament pack. I don't I don't know if I even wrote down what color it was, but it's a really pretty. It's actually showing up really nicely here in this light. And the if it when it when it's in the shadow, it's actually kind of hard to see because this is it's dark. But it's like a blue, purple, blackish um, fabric that's really pretty. And then I just made a little flat fold. I, I keep debating if I want to put some trim on this, but I kind of like how simple it is. So, yeah, very cute. Let's pop it back over here. Ooh. All right, so now we've got a couple things that aren't fully finished, um, but they are stitched. This is a freebie from the Prairie Schooler. You can get this on their website. I don't have, know if it has a name. It's just a little owl. This is, again, this is also stitched on uh, under the sea fabric. I think this is the color Aztec. And... I think this is, um, is it 3801? What is the, there's a dark brown. It's not 3799. I don't remember, it's just DMC. It's not, it's not variegated at all. It needs to get turned into a little ornament of some sort. It just hasn't happened yet. And then the next one I have is also from Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And um, I should have pulled who designed this, but I forgot. Um, this is called Ready for the Party. I think this is in the 2021 issue and uh, 
also stitched on um, 32 count sparkle gray linen and I think this is all the cold for DMC there is some etoile in there like the purple the light purple and the black are etoile I had stitched I think I started this one and this one and this one all at the same time and so I was trying to like coordinate all the colors so they would go together so the purples and the greens are often are often the same. And I think I used this as the inspiration for the purples. So someday they will all be fully finished and they will all look nice together somewhere in my house, but not today. Um, the next thing I have, I don't have. It is something I stitched for my niece. I'll put a picture in here. Uh, last year for Halloween, my niece was wanted to be Woodstock. <laughs> and so... She dressed up as Woodstock. My sister was um, Lucy, and her husband dressed up as, I can't remember if he went as Stoopy or Charlie Brown. There, I think he went as Charlie Brown. So uh, I decided I was going to stitch little this, this little pumpkin Woodstock. And this is actually not a cross-stitch pattern. I googled um, Halloween Woodstock or peanuts Halloween or something and this is actually a perler bead pattern you know like those uh, those plastic beads that you you make designs with and then you kind of melt and then they're together um, so it was free on Pinterest or you know some free perler bead website and you know it's pixel art so I just um, picked a yellow uh, is it yellow and orange and a black I think is all the colors in it and I just turned it into this little ornament for my for my niece and she actually, I think that she hung it on her Christmas tree or her Halloween tree. And then they, they, she also hung it on her Christmas tree. So it got, um, it was appreciated. All right. So next on my list. So we are now on, that was, that was finish number 20. So we're half, about halfway through all of my Halloween finishes. If you've stuck around this long and we're about halfway done. Um, so there's, there's still more to come. So this is, uh, Actually, I really, really love this little design. Um, this is also by Panochka from Just Cross Stitch Magazine. This is the Halloween 2021 issue. And this is called Bats and Flowers. And this is also like a little Goodwill flame frame that I think was gold and I think I painted black over it. Also on Please Scream Inside Your Heart by Mystic Fabrics. And I... It's, some of it is DMC, but I know the purple is Rainy Day by Classic Color Works. Because I was in my Let's Stitch Everything with Everything Purple with Rainy Day uh, era when I um, when I started this. And then I think. Oh, there's like a loose thread on it. Oh, that's not good. And then I think everything else is called for or in line with the called for. It's really I just I think it's just really cute and simple and you can see it's got the little bats in it so one of my favorites all right so we are in that was probably that was the last Halloween th Halloween stitch that I finished in 2022 so next everything you're gonna see from now on <coughs> excuse me I finished in 2023 and the first thing I'm gonna show you are three things that that go together, but we're finished in January, February, March. So I joined the um, Bad Stitch, Bad Stitched. I think she's Bad Stitch on Patreon, Bad Stitches or Bad... S the tenses change, but it's all the same person. I'm on Instagram and 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 Patreon and their design company. Um, and they, re they in the Patreon, if you're at a certain level, there's a monthly mushroom pattern. And I really liked the first one. <clears throat> so I joined and I've only stitched three of them and it's it's October I stitched January February March and then just fell off the bandwagon so um, this is January you can see there's little skulls and that mushroom cap and these creepy little eyeballs so super cute um, February is this one and these these are Halloween on the edge right this has actually got two little like lovebird snails I think on this little heart mushroom very cute and then this was March um, with the stars and the moon. And so these are all stitched on 40 count 
Silver Fox by um, Picture This Plus. I wanted them to all be little because I had a bunch of these little, these are those little three inch plastic bo bo bois, uh wood frames. And so I wanted them all to fit. I think if I'm careful, I can hold them all up at once. You can see all three of them together. Nope, I don't have, a, I don't have good enough dexterity to make this, to make this happen. Um, well, maybe I do, but yeah. So they all hang out together and they're pretty cute. They hang on the wall. I think I'm gonna put um, some, uh, ribbon on them so they can hang on the tree and then um, yeah I haven't stitched any of the other ones they they're the other ones are cute they just started to not be quite as like like spooky cute um, like there's a Lisa Frank one I think there's an Alice in Wonderland one and so um, they didn't quite fit the the vibe I was going for um, when stitching them as a little collection but they're all very cute um, and they, they all just have have felt on the back yeah, so those are the monthly mushrooms. Um, this I'm counting because it's it's a witch, um, so I think she she fits in the theme. This is one of Michelle Bendy Stitchy's um, Hildy patterns. This was also in her Patreon. This is Hildy goes to market, and so yeah, Hildy's shopping in this is shopping. She's got little shopping bags, but she could be trick or treating, right? Um, and then this is stitched on uh, under the sea fabric and from an ornament pack and roughly the called four colors. Um, I think the purple around the outside is a Threadworks. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty cute. So she needs, excuse me, she needs to get finished and turn, you turn into a little ornament as well, but hasn't happened yet. All right, so next is a big finish that needs to get fully finished. Um, this is um, Hello from Liz Matthews piece, and this is Sleepy Hollow. Um, I stitched this because of the owls. I mean, it's also lovely, but I stitched it because of the owls. Uh, this is 32 count vintage country mocha, all the called for DMC. And I, I just stitched those two over two. Um, actually, this might be 30. Might be 36 count. No, it's 32 count. Um, and I just like how puffy, how like vibrant they are. They really have like a little bit of dimension because on this 32 count, it's a little bit tight. But I need to get this framed. I th it's a weird size, so this might be actually something I get professionally framed because I don't think I'm gonna be able to find something that um, that fit that it fits. So. Really, really like this piece. Um, next, let's see, where are we? Sleepy Hollow. Okay, so this is from a Just Cross Stitch magazine as well, Halloween 2020 issue. I don't remember who the designer is. Um, I did not write it on my list, but it's called Something Wicked, and in the original pattern, if I remember, I'll put a picture in. <coughs> it's a lot bigger than this. It's got, like, more on the top and the sides. And I started this in September of 2020 and didn't finish it until April of 2023 because, honestly, I was I got a little tired of stitching it. It's a little bit, a little bit repetitive. And so when I pulled it out in April, I had, like, this much left. And you know, and I decided, you know what, it, it makes a nice square, um, and I just wanted to be done with it. So I decided I wasn't gonna stitch the rest. And so I think this is gonna end up as a project bag panel or maybe a little zip bag panel, because I'm not gonna frame it. In the original pattern, it's like a pillow, which is really cute, and I really like it. I just was done. I was just done stitching it, and um, honestly, if I didn't just, again, if I didn't just tell you that, you would never know. Oh, well. <coughs> excuse me unless you'd also stitched it then you would know but it's cute um, I think it'll make a nice project bag all right speaking of project bags my next finish was this which I think I've also shown this before yeah I've shown this um, this is a Teresa Kogut pattern from her patreon this was the August 2022 patreon pattern um, 
and it was called Stitch and Witches. I don't think you can get this. Um, like, I don't think she's released it. I think the only way you can get it is if you join her Patreon and then she has a secret shop where she has past Patreon pieces that folks can buy. Um, and I stitched this. This is 32 Count Vintage Country Mocha. I think it's charted in DMC. This is DMC with some um, other fancy flosses where appropriate. <coughs> and I changed... Both witches are green, I think, and because she has such a big green skirt, I changed her to being like a tan color, and I think I, I changed her hair color, so the witches weren't exactly the same, but I really, really like this too, and this made a really cute project bag um, that has some another Halloween whip in it. All right, next on the list... All right, so I just showed this in my last video because it was an FFO recently, but I finished this in April of this year. This is Baba Yaga by Owl Forest Embroidery. I bought the kit and I stitched it with all of the kit things, so fabric and floss, and just framed it in this little, I think this is an 8x8 square frame. Really love this. Um, I love the owls. The owls are also the same, similar or the same owls that are in 100 owls. Also by uh, Owl Forest, so they were fun to stitch. Next is Patchwork Halloween, which I also showed in my last video, so apologies, folks, if you've seen this twice <coughs> uh, recently. Uh, but this is Patchwork Halloween by Jardin Privé. This is 32 Count Vintage Country Mocha, all the cult for DMC. And again, it's actually framed in the same frame as Baba Yaga is, so really really love this this is a piece a whole bunch of stuff just fell luckily it fell onto the dog bed so it's not so bad but eh, it'll be fine it'll be fine all right so if you've watched my very first video I showed this um, this is one of my favorite finishes of all time this is uh, When Witches Go Riding by Tiny Modernist. And this was a four part stitch along from in 20, I think it started in 2021. <coughs> and I finished it in 2023 and then I just framed it recently. And I really, this, I love, I love this so much. This is stitched with um, the called for, which was classic color works and DMC. And it's stitched on Mystic Fabrics, Lugana and Diversity, which it just is so pretty like it's got just such a nice subtle but interesting variegation in it sorry you're seeing my my dining room light um reflected in it but i really i really love this so much so much good things that little witch the chat yeah all right so I'm just looking over at the precarious situation I found myself in because there's a bunch of cords here and my <coughs> somewhat um, shaky tripod and then all the Halloween pieces. Oh, that was my puppy. Hello. Hey, bud. You want to come hang out while I floss too? He just came to see what was going on. Um, anyway, so I'm going to try very carefully not to knock everything over and grab these. Okay. All right. We grabbed a couple. I think we can. Oops. I think we can make this work. Alrighty. I tried to plan this out somewhat well, but you know, you know how it is. Also, um, this is my new witch hat, which I got at Joann's and I didn't need a new witch hat cause I may have more than one, but I love it. All right, back on track folks, back on track. Oh, this is Halloween pumpkin silhouette too by Cute Patterns by Maria. You can get this on Etsy. And I realized the other day that there's backstitching that I just didn't do on this. Um, this little flower is supposed to have backstitching on it. <coughs> I was looking for um, something on, on her Etsy shop and I looked at this and I was like, you know what? I, I didn't do that backstitching and I'm not going to go do that backstitching. Uh, <laughs> uh, but there, but I could, I could, I suppose. This is actually just wrapped around foam board. It's not secured, I don't think, or at least not very well. I could pull it out, but I'm not going to. And so this is just um, 
a little, like one of those little shadow boxes. It has some cheesy Christmas quote on it. I got it on the clearance rack at Marshalls and it fit in there perfectly. And then this is Stitch. So this is all the called for DMC. This is um, one of the Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers fabrics of the month that had just some really pretty colors in it that I thought would show up, that would look nice. And that's also why I framed it kind of in a bigger box so you could see more of the fabric. But yeah, super cute. I think that deserves to hang out behind us. Mm -hmm. um, next, this is Witchcrafts by the Witchy Stitcher. I've shown this before as well. Uh, stitched on, this is x Designs in Witch's Broom. Mostly the called for DM Sweet Seed. The yellows, I know I subbed some of them for a twall, and then the black is act is Raven by Forbidden Virico. We have this variegated here. And I really love this piece. Next is a little pillow finish. This is Blackbirds on a Pumpkin. This is Rosewood Manor. This came from a another Just Cross Stitch magazine. I'm not sure which one. Um, this is not stitched in like any of the called for. <coughs> it is just, um, actually that might not be true. Some of it may be called for, but some of it's definitely not. I just sort of made it up looking at the picture because I think it might be charted in I might be charged in general arts, which I didn't have any of. Um, and then it's on, I think this is Autumnal Orchard by Fiberlicious. And just made it into a little, little pillow. All right. Um, okay, I need to sneakily pull some things through here without knocking the cords over. So just, all right, next pile. This is a Teresa Kogut pattern. This is Halloween Whimsy, or Whimsy Halloween. I really like her little Halloween witches. I kind of want to stitch the one with the angry house. Um, but I started this in 2021 and finished it this July. And this is just um, wrapped around foam board, another piece of foam board and on this little black wood box. <coughs> I'm actually gonna ship this to my mom for Halloween this year, so I doubt she's watching this video, but if you are a mom, I hope you like this because it'll be in a box to you tomorrow. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> uh, and I think, I think this is charted in DMC and I subbed like a variegated for the skirt because I thought it would look, it, it was a place in which I thought variegated floss would really shine. So everything else is DMC, I'm 90% sure. Very cute, very cute. Next is something that is a finish, but not a fully finish. <coughs> I showed this a couple floss tubes ago as well, because I just finished this in August. Um, this is a pattern by Kathy Barrick. It's called Halloween Pin Drum, but I'm not going to turn it, or excuse me, is it Autumn Pin Drum? Autumn Pin Drum. But I'm not going to turn it into a pin drum. Um, this is what I stitched. This is all the called for on the called for fabric. Um, I think I bought a kit or like kid bought it like you know you could hit the box <clears throat> on one two three stitch and they send you all the stuff what should happen is this should only be like half of um this this base with the pumpkin and then there should be another tree and an owl and the other half over here and then you turn it into a drum and i just decided i didn't i didn't really want it to be a drum and i did the math and this will fit in like a five by seven frame so i think that is what my plan is as soon as I find the right frame. But it's really nice. Um, that, those little owls are very cute. Um, I think the house turned out nice. I like the border on the bottom. I just, for whatever reason, was like, eh, I don't really care if this is a drum. So let's see what else I can do to make it work and get it done. Uh, next on the list, this is the Scissor Tail Designs. I finished this at, <clears throat> apologies folks, I'm starting to lose my voice. I'm hopefully gonna power through and not just start dark coughing on you all but I only have like six more things so I think we can do this this is by scissor tail designs this is a purple pumpkin pin keeps um, 
and I turned it into a little needle book instead of a pin key. It's almost done. It needs some felt inside, but this is on Lugana, and I know that purple is rainy day. Because again, I was I'm still in my rainy day era. It's like it's not going anywhere, but and then this outside border, the variegated is DMC, uh, one of the Col Colaris ones, and it's called Heather. It's really pretty. So it was the inspiration for the rest of the colors and like you know the green and the needle book and what have you. All right, next. Um, so again, we're getting into the things that I've finished most most recently. So a lot of these I've shown recently in my floss tube, but I want to I want all of them together in one video. So this is from Shepherd's Bush. This is called a Witching Season. Um, this is a kit you can buy. It comes with the floss, the fabric, the little buttons, the finishing fabric, and the um, the chenille around the outside. So, and I filled it with walnut shells. Um, it's, it's nice and floppy. So very, very cute. Very excited to have that guy done. Oh, all right, one more reach for the last small pile. And then we're in the home stretch, folks. We're in the home stretch. I only have four things in front of me, maybe five. Um, all right, so the next is Come We Fly. I showed this again in my last video. This is um, Primrose Cottage. Another little ornament. Still, still love that vacuum cleaner, folks. Not, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> My love is, it will, will be there. Um, and uh, I don't remember what this is stitched on. I know this variegated purple is hand dyed by Rolanda, and then I just made a little flat fold ornament, and it is going on the tree. Very excited to have more than two ornaments on my tree this year. Uh, next, so this is another thing that I count, I'm counting as Halloween because I think it's spooky that you, you all may disagree with me on, um, but it is in my book. And this is Carnivorous Terrarium by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. This is hand dyed by Rolanda and I believe the color is olive, all the called for DMC and this nice little cute little frame from I think TJ Maxx just happened to be perfect. Recent, this is a recent start and finish. Of my, of my Halloween ornament, ornament, Halloween cross stitch collection. Um, I finished this as well. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize, which I know I showed recently. This is Two Pumpkin Sprite by Hello from Liz Matthews. I know I had talked about fully finishing it. It hasn't happened yet. Um, so it's still like all folded up like I was going to, but very cute. Um, now I realize that all of my Halloween Hello from Liz Matthews pieces have been finished, which means I, I have a couple more in the queue. So now I've got now I've got a spot to start another one. So I'm either going to stitch um, Boo, the one that she just released the pattern of this year that was also in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, or I might finally get Autumn Cloche and stitch that. Decisions for another day. Decisions for another day. I have plenty of other stuff to stitch without buying a new, another new pattern. Um, you saw this also in the last video. This is Sound Dreams. This is um, Barbara Anna Designs. This was in Punch Needle and Permanent Stitcher, Fall 2022. Sparkle Gray Linen. Called for DMC with the exception that purple and that orange um, are, they're all forest actually. And the called for the called for chart doesn't have any purple in it. I subbed the purple um, where there had been some oranges and there's some etoile over here. Like these little four stitched thingies are etoile. You can't tell, but it's there, I promise. And then finally, my last Halloween finish that uh, is this little guy. This is Murray. Murray Halloween. Uh, which will be turned into an ornament for my niece very shortly because she needs it. She, uh, if you if you haven't heard the story, I'll tell it one more one more time. I'm sure I'll tell it more than one more time. But today I'll only tell it one more time. My niece has a little rat named Murray, little stuffed rat, 
And last year, Pixel Pixie Cross Stitch had a pattern in um, the Christmas issue, I think, of Just Cross Stitch with this little rat on it, only it was a Christmas pattern. And I decided that I was going to stitch that and write Murray Christmas on it, like a funny pun, only funny to my family. Um, <laughs> so for my, my, niece's hol my niece's Christmas ornament. And then um, Pixel Pixie Christy named the mouse in her pattern after Murray, which was very kind. And then she just released this like a week or ha week or two ago, and I bought it immediately and stitched it. So um, my niece will have two Murrays to go with the real little stuffed Murray. So, all right, that is all of my Halloween finishes. And according to the spreadsheet in front of me, there were 44 of them. Um, maybe only, yeah, there were 44, which... Thank you very much for sitting through 44 Halloween finishes. I'm hoping that I can find more. I mean, I love a finished parade, I think more than any other kind of parade. Um, so with that, thank you so much. Hope to see you next time. Happy Halloween.